Xalagua in eastern Guatemala, just kilometers from the northwestern border of Honduras. Here in the rural heart of Central America, climate change is having a serious impact. This whole area used to be productive fields, but the more intense rains and the river changing course have wiped everything out. Climate change is very worrisome. We have lived through it and I speak for my whole community and I say that we have been badly affected. A town home to some 600 people a decade ago, today more than a quarter of the residents, almost all of them young people, have left. Migration has hit us hard. Many people have left for the United States. Around 20 people a year leave. And it's not just Xalagua. The same exodus is happening in Camotan, a municipality around 25 kilometers away. Noe Guerra is the local mayor. Around 20 or 30 people migrate away from our region every day. That's becoming a vicious cycle. As the workforce leaves, Guerra says the local economy shrinks. There is work that needs doing in our region. For example, today the coffee harvesting workforce has been reduced. There are fewer people to work harvesting corn or tomatoes or in construction. And it's not just Camotan. Alejandra Mena of the Guatemalan Migration Institute says some 300 migrants leave the country every day, more than ever forced out by extreme weather. We see these trends of people moving as a result of climate change. People lose their homes, they're left without food or employment, and that forces them to migrate. And it's not just Guatemala. Francisco Belisari runs one of the capital city's only migrant shelters and says more migrants than ever blame climate change as their reason for heading north. We see migrants from Honduras, Guatemala and also from Nicaragua at times, all affected by the global trend of climate change. With no signs of climate change slowing down, the migration crisis could become as extreme as the weather. Alastair Babastock, CGTN, Xalagua, Guatemala.